everybody, this is the d Crew here, and welcome to our next edition of d Crew Let's Plays. I'm your host, Ian, I'm joined tonight by... Hello, so Customality here. Hello, everyone, it's your clever fox, Crimson. Good mo good afternoon, everyone. You may call me the Wheelman, or evening, depending on where you live. And beep, back by beep. proper beep. man. Beep, beep, bam, sheep, it's a beep, beep, bam, sheep. Yep, we has the Jedi back in the f back in the fold. So then, for this rendition of the Deep Crew's Plays, we'll be tackling Sonic Mania Plus this time round for the PlayStation Four. Also, I'll be right back. All right. So, anyways, how this is going to go down for this particular LP? We'll be tackling a Sonic and Tails run. And then when we come back to this game later, we'll be tackling the Knuckles run. So anyways. For the end Knuckles run, curious, will we will you be activating the end Knuckles mode? Where, where like there's a second Knuckles following you? Maybe. But in any case, let's get started, shall we? So, oh, and pay no attention to Mighty and Ray. Oh, we'll get to them when we get to Sonic Mania Plus's defining feature, Encore Mode. So Sonic Mania, set directly after the events of Sonic 3 and Knuckles, Sonic and Tails return to, to Angel Island after picking up a mysterious reading that's similar to the Chaos Emerald. But unfortunately, a bunch of egg robots are already on the scene, they dig, and they dig up the so-called Phantom Ruby. What the Phantom Ruby is, is never really explained. You'd have to you have to find out in Sonic Forces. Which we might get to eventually. <laughs> so anyways, it's now a journey through time and space for Sonic Bells and later Knuckles. Through various zones of Sonic's history. Well, for the most part, because there are technically four original zones in this game. We'll get to those when we get to those. Huh? Yeah. So, there's no. So, has Sonic. So, has Sonic the Hedgehog 4 been, like, completely wiped from canon? Hmm? Sonic the Hedgehog 4, if you remember that series, it was the... That remains yeah, to be seen. Yeah. But just, I know Sonic 06 is like the canon, but... So anyways, why we did why we decided to go with Sonic Mania after we already did stream this a while back? I have my reasons, because one of them being... I wanted something to test the PlayStation 4 with. And some will probably think, well, why not just test it with something like, say, Team Hearts 3? Oh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that eventually. So, another question. Will you be getting all the emeralds in the front? Yep. Bear in mind, I did do a bit of a practice run with this when I got when I got the when I got the game for the PS4. A cast on. Wow. Huh? Boop. Wow, these special zones are always trippy. Also, I'm not getting any Pokeball vibes in the background. Huh. Yeah, I can do look like a Pokeball. Like they like they look like different colored versions of the uh, Lustry Ball. Hmm. I mean like, am I the only one who sees that? Yeah. And it's also interesting that I think 
think it was somewhere along the lines that uh, at some point Christian Whitehead, the developers that developed this for of Sonic Mania, actually had in had in some ideas of developing a 3D Sonic game at some point. Why wasn't he brought on board for Sonic Forces then? I have no idea. And also we got the green Chaos Emerald. Also, one new ability for Sonic in this game, the Drop Dash, which was later brought back in Sonic Forces. It's just too bad that classic Sonic really doesn't really have a point of being in Sonic Yeah, in terms of plot significance for Forces, it has not. Like, seriously, you could take him out entirely, and you would lose nothing. Let's see if I can get the achievement in here, shall we? Because if you bash this thing in a certain spot... No. There's an achievement you can unlock in this for this game. If you if you uncover two hidden items in the act clear area of Green Hill, you get an achievement for it. Oh, you can? Yeah. I never knew that. There's also some achievements for getting for Stardust Speedway in Act 2 in under one minute. Or rather, the first half of, of Stardust Speedway Act 2. So, anyone got any, uh, what are, your, what are your guys' thoughts on Sonic Mania? I it like it. It is one of the most beautiful games I think I've ever seen, uh, retro revival-wise. Like, seriously. The only way it'd be better is if it was hands-on. If I know how expensive and next to possible it would be to get it right. Alright, we've already found our second special stage. But I have a question for you all. Uh, any any thoughts about the Sonic movie, the Sonic the Hedgehog movie being I'm played? kinda glad that they, they're taking the time to yeah. redo it. <laughs> because, let's be honest, the trailer was abysmal. The only saving grace about it... Jim Carrey? Yeah! I mean, his his his, deli his line delivery in the, in that's pretty damn good. I will give you that. Yeah, because I can tell Jim Carrey's really putting the effort into his. But I can tell for once, Sega and by extension Universal is actually or Paramount is actually listening to the fans and say. Hmm? They're, they're, they're actually listening to the fans and saying, Oh sh- Oh no, if we mess this up, we'll- It would be S.O.L. Mm -hmm. Or I think I know it's going right through Paramount's uh, Or I think I know what Paramount was saying the moment they got the negative backlash. Oh no! Yeah, that's getting old. I, I, I'm sorry, I had to, okay? I know, I know. It, it was like... Honey, I'm home! Are you, are you okay? You, you, you sounded like the... You sounded like that nasally teenager from The Simpsons. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Alright, bonus stages for this game. Who's fair from Sonic 3? I remember these were always annoying. Yeah, and that's one thing I wanna know. When Sonic 4 went around, people were kind of upset that they didn't bring back the sphere, instead they went with the rotating maze from Sonic 1 and the half pipe from Sonic 3. Remember Sonic 2. And people was like, 
And some people right. think that the, the half price is boring. What's the blue spear love? It's like, honestly, I find blue spear harder than the half price. Why? You can easily get lost. You get what I'm saying? I get what you're saying entirely, man. I honestly prefer the half pipe over blue spear, because because I think because I think with the the half pipe, you, it's at least all the reactionary and all that skill. Whereas this one, it's it's kind of luck based whether you get all the blue spears or you mess it up and get it right. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I know they can't necessarily put in a map because it was kind of... I did not mean to get that. You know, you know, with the fu- you know, with the elemental shields, uh, you know, with the elemental shields in play, it kind of makes the default normal shield kind of pointless. Ah, what? <laughs> I have to go back, back up, back up. Tails, come uh... back! Tails, come back! Uh, meow. Were you trying to reference that in the Sonic movie trailer? Yes. Yeah. Oh, for heaven's sake. Like, oh my god, what was that Sonic design in the movie? I kind of. And now I feel like I've missed the special stage. Oh well. You, you have like billions of others. Yeah, but. Ow! I got freaking sight. By who? Comedian. All right. And oh my god, it's the fake robot. There is the. And he's pathetically easy because his feet don't hurt you. Ow. There's actually a white PDP of the Sonic trailer, and it actually makes it funnier. I don't really like YouTube too follow much. Oh, this one's really good though. <laughs> and that does it for Green Hill. Wow! Wow, Egghead. You mean Eggman? Robot's really kind of sucking lately. Uh, -uh it's not not Eggman. Robotnik. We're going by classic Sonic logic here. Actually, in Japan, he's referred to as Eggman. I know. But we Westerners call him Robotnik. Well, until nowadays. Yeah. You know what? I've gotten so used to calling him Eggman that I'm just going to call him Eggman. Okay. Nice little callback. I tried to call him Eggman right around Sonic Adventure 2. No, wait, why? Anyway, well, now we're technically on West Side Island. Anyway, our oh, next portal go chemical plants. So now we're on West Side Island. Also, one quick thing to this: hey, we've got a sense of deja vu here. Deja vu. Been because this is exactly how Sonic Generation started. First with Green Hill, and then to Chemical Plant. Well, 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 Sonic Team seems to be out of ideas, so why not just do this? Well, that's the thing. It's not just made by Sonic Team. This is a game made by the fans. By the Mania, for the Mania. The same, oh, from the, from the oh, same oh, team that brought you Sonic 1 iOS, Sonic 2 iOS. Would want you Sonic 3 iOS, but unfortunately never happened. And Sonic CD Remastered. Why did Sonic 
Sonic the Hedgehog 4, Part 1 and 2. Nope, that was done by Dips. But yeah, we never got Sonic the Hedgehog 4, Part 3. Yes, you did? Dips, don't, don't, they so, don't they also help out with some of the Sora Online games? And Dragon Ball. And if I remember correctly, weren't they the ones responsible for the uh, Sonic, uh, Sonic, uh, Red game? And the Sonic Advance series. Yeah, Dimps works most- I think Dimps mostly works with, uh, <laughs> with, uh, Bandai, uh, Bandai Namco sometimes, I don't think. I think so? I'm not sure. Yeah, they, they, they work with Bandai. The primarily with the Dragon Ball game, but, like, I think they, I think they did the original three Budokai games. Yeah, they've done so. Xenoverse, I think. Yeah, they also did Xenoverse. And we got the blue emerald, or rather, a blue jelly rancher. By the way, which game, which Sonic game was it that first introduced Shadow? Uh, that was Sonic Adventure Two. Yeah, Sonic Adventure Two. Tails, are you nuts? What are you doing? Spin dashing right into some blue goo. Why is AI so wrong? And don't go into the grape soda. Don't go into the grape soda of death. Way! Uh, Re really nothing to that. Don't get a joke. Uh, beca because I, I I was making more of an original joke because what the, the purple stuff. What the hell happened there? What? We'll see in a sec. Uh, what the? the, 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 the I think you got squashed or something. What squished you? I have no idea! I'm not going to lie, this segment right here kind of brings back bad childhood memories. With and they have to put a special stage ring right at the bottom of it. They just knew, didn't they? Yeah, yeah because believe it or not, and it's kind of embarrassing for you to bring this up. I actually did drown. I actually did get a game over in Chemical Plant Zone when I was. Oh, so, oh, I man, I know your pain. We all. I think we've all been in that situation at least once when we put Sonic Two for the first time. I have never played it. Really? No, I think I've only played Sonic One. Well, in that case, Jedi, I strongly suggest you get Sonic Hedgehog 2 for iOS and Android. <laughs> when you yeah. get the chance. I kind of like the other Sonic games, like, uh, Forces, uh, Unleashed, them kind of Sonic games. So you're more into, uh, uh, so you're more into uh, the you're mod the style, there. So, to be fair, like, if you were, you were planning, if you were planning to get, uh, Sonic 2, you may want to get cash, but you can't... Can't get that game for free. It's not that expensive, though. It's but, like, not, but I'm surprised they didn't like you know. And yeah, we've now got that damn fourth chaos symbol. Yeah, now you got the cat. And now you got the cat. Sorry. There's one more mi mission you gotta do, DB. Find the computer room. Called it. And that is my obligatory shout out to f to find the computer room. Yeah. Shouldn't we have waited till playing through Shadow the Hedgehog to get to that? No, we like, we already saw the Team Four Chaos Emerald joke from 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 um Adventure Two. So no, no, no. I think that was from Shadow the Hedgehog as well. Oh, still, so, we've already done one Shadow of the Hedgehog Blast reference, one or two, two. It's all part of the adventure. Uh-huh. 
Tails, were you running backwards? Tell me I, like, tell me I didn't to see that, right? Maybe you were trying to do the moonwalk and fail. Alright, boss number two. Which I think is a callback to the one boss in uh, Ice Capsule from Sonic 3. I I don't remember the name, but I know it's one you're talking about. Also, what is this chemical plant actually for exactly? They have Maybe more robots. Chemical war, chemical weapons, perhaps. And that's does it for Act One Chemical Plant. And now for so, Act Two, and I and I'll be honest with you, I love this remix. What's your what's your opinion on T Lopes' soundtrack? Who? T T Lopes, the guy who does the soundtrack for this game. What's your opinion on the soundtrack? For this game? I've honestly been familiar with T-Lopes at this point myself, thanks to a, thanks to a certain YouTuber's intro. Mm -hmm. And that's I am impressed by his work. Anyways, give the cast a cookie. Yeah. I gave everyone cookies. And yeah. nothing. Yeah. Because my muffin button. Take a cast of pudding. Pudding. I'd be lying if I said that wasn't one of Twilight Sparkle's funnier moments. I think that's one of the best, best sort of throwaway lines of the series so far. I think that's one of the best meme faces that Twice made. Mm -hmm. However, the best meme face, in my opinion, is still the no spoilers thing that uh, Rarity did. Yeah. No spoilers! Or the. Or the. Quiet! Meme face that Starlight made. Yeah. And there's also Flareshite's smug look. You're going to love me! I was actually afraid to ask you if you're afraid to want to like you. I mean, like, I mean, like, the best, the funniest line I think ever said in that show was when a mod said, the goal is you're the most basic of jokes. Like, like, seriously, I think that's the most savage burn I think I've ever seen. All this, one mock, all this one mock line. Clock, you are a lock. Your argument is invalid. Huh. I don't remember that one. It's for oh, Mod's first appearance. I'm just messing have around. Have you seen the Student Council? Where? Honestly, throughout the episode, part of me was saying, should we just keep Mudfire in stone? Mod was perfect in that episode. Although... Throughout the beginning of the episode, with that one, with that one, with that one unicorn that just wanted, that just wanted Starlight's, uh, counseling advice, that sounds like he went out fast to the guy. Yeah. Hmm. Stop. One bounce. Double bounce. Triple bounce. Dude, don't bur No Buffy. I don't know. Uh, actually, guys, I've been thinking for an April Fool's Day for next year. What do you say if I consider doing a let's look at slash let's pick of Bubsy? Uh, which one? Oh, uh, is that that one where that guy chases you with the ruler? What? What? 
or am I thinking of some of the game of a different game? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you may be thinking of a different game. Both of you love that really annoying cow with the t-shirt with the explanation mark eyes. Whew. You made one of the worst game. You made the worst game on the PlayStation oh. One. Hey, got a trophy. Superstar. Superstar Saga. And now it's time for a complete genre shift. Anyone for Mean Beans? You know, I haven't played Mean Bean Machine in a while. I mean, I love the callback, but at the same time, not everyone's gonna get it. Yeah. This is basically Sonic Tetris. No, it's well, really well, 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 I mean, bear in mind, this is just an adaptation of an existing Puyo game. Oh. Which Kirby's also done. Yeah, that was Kirby's Avalanche, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is that game any good? Um... I don't know. I never actually... touched it. I think it's also the one of the few games Kirby actually says something. I know! Instead of the whole- Wow, man, you suck at this. He sucks at his own game. It's been years! And technically, wasn't that the cartoon series Eggman, not the video game Eggman? Mm -hmm. And that does it for Chemical Plant Act 2! Anyways, I think that's gonna do it for part one of our Sonic Mania Let's Play. So we'll so we'll see you next time where we tackle the next uh, first original <coughs> zone. A very special shout out to my Patreons, including the ever lovely Kayla Del Rose. Become a Patreon today by clicking the link in the description below. And with that, I'll see you guys on the flip side. See ya!